Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ahmed Abrar, student of Frontier Medical and Dental College, Abbottabad. Today, I am going to discuss the mandibular incisors. So, let's take a start with its introduction. The mandibular incisors are the tooth located in the jaw adjacent to the midline of the face. The mandibular incisors are the smallest permanent teeth. Regarding shape, they are the most simple teeth. There are four teeth in number, two on the midline called central mandibular incisors. As its name indicates, they are present in the center, and the other two are the lateral mandibular incisors. The mandibular incisors are further divided into two subgroups, namely mandibular central incisors, which are two in number, two teeth in number, and are located in the middle of the jaw. And the another one is mandibular lateral incisor. There are also two in number adjacent with the central incisor. One is on the left and another one on the right called left and right lateral incisors. Here in this figure we can clearly see that the tooth marked one is a mandibular central incisors and the tooth marked two marked is two or the mandibular lateral incisors. Now we are going to discuss the first subgroup is mandibular central incisor. The mandibular central incisors occupy the position adjacent to the midline in each mandibular quadrant is shown in the figure. Universal number of mandibular central incisors are 25 and 24. The mandibular right central incisor is number 25 while the mandibular left central incisor is number 24. Now we are going to discuss a little about its morphology. The mandibular central incisors normally has the narrowest mesiodistal dimension and in the smaller crown size of any permanent tooth. The crown is quite symmetrical with the mesial and distal halves nearly identical. The incisal edge is normally straight but can be slightly rounded. The root of mandibular central incisor is normally single and straight. The incisal edge can be slightly rounded but the root is must be straight. From the labial or lingual aspects, the root is generally symmetrical. From the other aspects, uh, such as mesial or distal aspect, the root is much wider and it is slightly convex cervicoapically on both lingual and labial margins. The root length is normally little greater than in central incisor. The tip may curve to the distal. Now it's chronology, the developmental stages. The initiation of calcification, the age of three to four months, the completion of enamel at the age of four to five years, while the eruption is at the age of six to seven years. The completion of root occurs at the age of nine. Now the another uh, group is mandibular lateral incisor. These are the second tooth from the midline in each lower quadrant, share a mesial contact area with the central incisor. Mandibular lateral incisors are slightly wider mesiodistally, which is which we can clearly see in this figure. Mandibular lateral incisor is slightly larger in all aspects than in the mandibular central incisor. The incisal edge is not straight mesiodistally as it is in the central. As comparison with the central mandibular incisor, the incisal edge is not straight mesiodistally. Now here is the various aspects of mandibular lateral incisors. The labial aspect, the lingual aspect, the mesial aspect the distal aspect in the incisal aspect. 
Now the root length is normally a little greater than in central incisors. The root is also slightly thicker and wider. The root concavities may be found on the mesial and distal root surfaces. Here in this figure we can clearly see that uh, the root concavity in the distal is usually more pronounced. Now the universal number of mandibular lateral incisors are 26 and 23. The mandibular right lateral incisor has number 26 while the mandibular left lateral incisor has number 23. Now the chronology of mandibular lateral incisors, the initiation of calcification occurs at the age of 3 to 4 months, completion of enamel 4 to 5 years, eruption at the age of 7 to 8 years, while the completion of root occurs at the age of almost 10 years. Now finally the functions of mandibular incisors. There are various functions of mandibular incisors, some of them are the following. They are used for cutting of food during mastication, commonly known as chiving. As we know that these tooth are sharp, so they are uh, used in biting, incising. These tooth are also used for holding of food as well as aesthetics. This is the most, these are the most important functions of mandibular incisors. Thank you.